Hello everyone, welcome to this Informatica MDM tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn what are the new features which are introduced in the MDM version 10.4. If you are planning to migrate your application from MDM 10 or any other version to this MDM 10.4, then this tutorial is definitely going to help you so that you can plan for the migration activity based on these new features. So let's go ahead and understand what are the features. The features are introduced in this 10.4 are not only on MDM hub side, but they have changes in the provisioning tool and the UI that is customer 360 or entity 360 application. The very first change which got introduced in 10.4 is nothing but the hierarchy. The way we configure hierarchy in the MDM hub, like configuring the entity, the relationships, and the hierarchies, etc., that whole process is changed with the 10.4. Now, from 10.4 onward, the hierarchy will be configured in the provisioning tool. Of course, there is a feature by using which you can convert the already configured hierarchy in the MDM hub to this provisioning tool hierarchy. The good part of this is it's, it is not dependent on the flash which is going to end in 2020. There are two types of hierarchy introduced. The one is our regular hierarchy, which we can configure in the provisioning tool either by migrating the existing hierarchy or we can create a new hierarchy. And it, it also has the quick view of that given record. In this screen, you can see on the left hand side, you can see the tree like structure of the hierarchy. And on the right hand side, you will see the quick view of the particular business entity. And the second type of hierarchy is nothing but the network hierarchy, where the each business entity will be the part of the big network. Of course, on the network hierarchy as well, we'll have the quick view where we can see the details of the record. If you see on the, the first or the left hand side screen, we have the tabs. For the hierarchy, our regular hierarchy will have the separate tab, and for the network hierarchy, we'll have the another tab. By clicking that, you can get, get those details. So this is one of the major change introduced in the 10.4. Once we con configure the provisioning tool for the hierarchy, you have to revert back the hierarchies in the MDM hub. By reverting the hierarchies in the MDM hub to normal base object from the entity base object, you'll be able to continue to update or add the new hierarchies in the provisioning tool. The second change is related to the chart. What are the charts we configure in the IDD application or customer or entity 360 application? It has some limitations or the configuration is little cumbersome. But with the 10.4, it become more easy and Informatica has given more control on configuration of the chart. We can configure what type of chart we need to configure, how it should look like, even we can add some filters or links also. And those will be more use, useful in query, search, and task manager. The third features, which is a part of the 10.4, is nothing but the working with the multiple tasks. In earlier version, user can work on only one task at a time. For example, if user want to reject multiple tasks at a time, that feature was not there in earlier version. But in 10.4 onward, you can achieve multiple operations on multiple tasks at a time. For example, if you want to assign a bulk number of tasks to a particular user, you can do that. So th these are the operations which we can perform on multiple tasks, such as assigning, claiming, releasing tasks, even edit, approve, reject, and disclaim. These operations we can perform by selecting a checkbox for all these tasks and taking necessary action. So in the screenshot, we can see on the left hand side, there is a checkbox which we can select and there are some actions we can perform like assign, claim, release, etc. The fourth feature is nothing but the natural set. Uh, this is kind of the helpful tool provided in the provisioning tool by using which you can 
run the multiple iterations of the match job rather than directly configuring in, in the MDM hub. Here we can create our match rule set, define the, what are the match columns which we are going to use, the population file, etc. And also we need to define the business entity. Once you configure that, it will give us a result. And by using that result, we can finalize whether the how the records are matched, whether it, there is a tuning required, etc. And then you can finally configure those match rules in the MDM hub. So the match rules are still there in the MDM hub, but this is just additional feature or functionality provided in the provisioning tool. The fifth feature is find and replace. I personally like this feature. Uh, there are still some uh, limitations, but what are the functionality they have provided? It's very good. What, what this functionality is, when we search any record in the customer 360 or entity 360, it will open the record. And there is an icon for find and replace. It's a kind of search icon. You have to just click it and it will open in the another page. You don't have to define any component or layout for this. This is pre-built functionality comes with the application. Once this find and search uh, find and replace uh, page opens what you have to do you have to select the what attributes you would like to search there is no um, option to select multiple attributes you can update one attribute for the multiple records then you can define the what value you are looking for for searching and then you can click on the find button as soon as you click the find button in if there are record present those records get highlighted with specific color and if you would like to replace that record then provide the replace value and click on the replace all it will replace all the values so there is no selective um, approach or there is no selective option you have it will just find all the records with a given criteria and it will replace all those values this functionality is, will be very useful for the business user those who would like to work on the multiple record and this is going to definitely benefit uh, the business user for their efficiency aspect the next feature is import record you might aware this import function is present um, since long so even the legacy idd or i would say the subject area based idd application also had this kind of functionality however one of the interesting thing about this uh, import record is going forward or particularly in the standard for version this import record function will be implemented with the help of artificial intelligence. So it will have the in, inbuilt intelligence which will determine what record from the source need to map to the what record or what attribute of the target. So that part is implemented in the artificial intelligence. If it works well, then more and more feature in the IDD or the customer 360 application will be implemented with the artificial intelligence. So I would say it's a great start for this kind of application getting involved in the artificial intelligence. So that's the, uh, the, the main thing about the import record, import record functionality and which can be easily find out in your application on the left hand side section. Like it's a new file import where you have to select the CSV file or XLS file and then regular import functionality. Along with the importing file, Informatic also enhanced the the ad hoc match functionality or the this functionality was a part of the import functionality import file functionality earlier version but they separate out from that and by using this uh, functionality we can match the record so what are the input record we are going to provide those will be matched against the existing record so in the result we'll get the what are the match record what are the unique record what are the record got skipped and everything so this will give the nice report which can be found under the my job section if you see on the left hand side so my jobs is another section introduced in the 10.4 where you can see the result of the jobs which are particularly you're executing from uh, customer or entity 360 application the jobs which are nothing but the ad hoc match and the new file import um, another interesting feature is the elastic search i'm not sure how much uh, um, this functionality will be used in the real time but this is definitely a good functionality and the reason is what are the uh, elastic searches we configure 10.3 onward there is no control given so what are the 
searchable fields we select based on that the uh, indexing search indexes are getting generated but now the 10.4 onward the more control is given to the developers and the users so we can configure uh, the custom analyzer tokenizers uh, even the token filters and character filters etc so so giving this functionality um, adding us uh, more flexibility so we can implement the solution based on the project requirement this functionality is more useful if the the existing uh, so elastic search functionality is not working as expected so that is functionality will be still there but this is just add on on that functionality to narrow down or to deep dive um, under the the elastic search so this is the eighth uh, feature and the ninth feature is more about the the user friendliness or the ui enhancement so informatica is providing more uh, user friendly approach for, to the application so hence they added the color and icons to the business entities which are more uh, useful if the users are going to see the data in the hierarchy views or even in the normal views we can see this kind of icons once you select the business entity you can define what kind of icon you're going to provide for those kind of business entities for the relationships also there are different kind of colors you can choose while creating the relationships under the hierarchy and the network section which we have seen in our earlier uh, slides the last but not the least feature and it's a hyperlink it's more most awaited feature people were asking or the business users were asking how can we make its uh, fields clickable for example if there are some self-host real related links we provide as a data field user would like to click on that and open that in the different tab so those kind of features were not there so they got introduced in this 10.4 uh, we can configure the hyperlink for the web url file uh, uri ftp links and uh, email addresses so this is the uh, last feature along with these features informatica also had more changes uh, on the properties side uh, but those are kind of core features so user may not be able to see directly but these are kind of internal implementations also the if you open the mdm hub now the user can provide the the target server url rather than opening the mdm hub specific to each environment so now now going onward we are we will not be using jnlp a uh, file it's a jar file we'll be getting and you have to select the uh, the server which you are going to hit by using that jar file and it will open the mdm hub in that particular environment so that's become again more convenient for the developers so these are kind of the features got introduced in the 10.4 i hope you got some idea about what are the features are there going forward we'll learn each feature in detail how to configure it and how to use it if you have any comments uh, about this video or if you have any questions about this product and the new uh, features let me know uh, under the comment section of this video and please do not forget to subscribe my channel